What's going on everybody? It's the Bearded Shark. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, well thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and press that subscribe button and also the notification button beside it so you'll be notified of any new videos I bring out in the future. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to be reviewing and talking about the Luxurious Bastard based out of California. Luxurious Bastard is ran and owned by a one-man show, a guy named Dave. Super nice guy. I had the pleasure of talking to him a couple of times and I asked him, I said, what started Luxurious Bastard? Well, a product that he used to purchase in the past, unfortunately the company quit making, so Dave decided that he's gonna try to replicate himself. Little did he know that he made the product 10 times better than what he was actually buying. Also, at the same time, he started selling it to friends and family members, which turned into this popular bearded company that's known around the world. You definitely need to try the Luxurious Bastard because they got some really, really great products. Another thing too, as well, whenever you order products from him, he sends you some treats. He does send you a business card. I received a sticker in the last order. And also, I've been dying to eat this, but I wanted to save it for my video. He sends you some double bubble gum. That's really cool that he sends a, you know, a gift with every purchase that you buy. And another thing too, I'm not sure if you guys been on his website or not, and if you read his descriptions on his uh, products, they are amazing. David takes it to another level and describes his products like nobody else. I'm talking about whenever you read the description, your mind starts wandering. You start going into this state of mind where you want to picture yourself in the same place that he's talking about. For example, the 1912, he talks about how it's such a rustic place and talking about, um, you know, back in the themes of the 1912, it makes me want to take a time machine and go back to that timeline just so I can see how it was. Every time you take a whiff of his products, I'm talking about these are the most sophisticated scents in the game, period. You automatically go back to the description that he was describing them on his website, and they fit right into that. So Dave, Luxurious Bastard, awesome job on describing your products. And today we're going to be talking about four different oils. We're going to be talking about the Sweet Bastard, the 1912, the Holiday, and the Original. And I do have a couple of bombs, but I'm just going to go through and talk about one bomb because the bombs and the oils smell identical. But we're really going to focus on how it feels in beard and what I think about the bomb. We'll start off with the oils, and then I'll move on to the bomb as the last uh, product to talk about. So let's start off with the Holiday Bastard and take a look at the logo, guys. He did a really good job on that. I love that logo with the Santa hat and just taking a look at it. I mean, you have the skull, um, the skull head with the pipe, with the beard. You know, it just fits right. It just fits perfectly with his uh, with his title, with his name, the Luxurious Bastard. Uh, this is the Holiday scent, and I actually. Uh, been waiting for this so long i missed it the first uh the first go around because the product was sold out but i was able to get it on the second go around and i'm so glad that um, i did get it because this stuff smells amazing as soon as you open the bottle you can actually smell it from the the with the bottle being closed but as soon as you open it i'm talking about this is straight up christmas in a bottle like he hit it right on point of making a christmas scent or a holiday scent i guess you can say it smells just like if i had to pick a scent that smells just like christmas the holiday bastard is definitely it i get cinnamon and fur needle right off the bat and then whenever you put it in beard just like his any other any other scent that he has they change scents they're definitely they're definitely really sophisticated and there he's got he's, he's gotten very creative with his scents i love it you get fur needle and then you get a little bit of you get a strong cinnamon scent not like strong like overwhelmed but the cinnamon is the first thing and then fur needle and then when i put it in hand immediately i guess whenever the oil mixes with the oils on hand i get like a warm apple pie smell like oh my god and just like dave said in the description this is a christmas tree or christmas in a bottle you might as well say that you had the whole damn christmas tree in the bottle because this smells wonderful i really 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 like 
the holiday set and I know I'm late to the game but if I had if I made a top five videos of the best holiday um, or Christmas scents Dave would have definitely took the number one spot because I do have a few others that are holiday um, themed scents. Um, next we're going to talk about the original bastard. The original bastard is a take on the um, uh, barbershop scent, but it's a little bit different than your typical barbershop, uh, barbershop uh, beard oil. It does you do get some of that talcum powder smell into uh, smell in it, but it's mixed. It's mixed with a little bit of vanilla. Well, well, that's what I get at least with it. And then when it's in beard, it just they both mix together and it smells really really good. Now the oil, it is a little bit on the it's a medium thickness. Uh, but it, it works very, very great in the beard, and it just makes your beard feel super healthy and soft. Next that we're going to talk about is the Sweet uh, sweet Bastard. And again, if you go on his website and you read the descriptions and then you take a whiff of his uh, scents, they go so good together. Like it puts you in that state of mind that you're like, God, I wish I was there. I wish I was in the theme or the state of mind or the particular time frame that Dave is talking about. This right here to me, and this is in a what I call a what I call a, a baby bastard. It's a the smaller sample bottles, but to me, this straight up, you get lemon, you get a little bit of the grapefruit, but to me, this straight up smells like a yellow starburst. I love this stuff. Now, unfortunately, it is uh, citrus, and citrus doesn't last long in my beard. I get a good three to four hours out of this, and I do apply like another drop or two just to, get, to keep the smell in my beard. Next, we're going to talk about is the 1912 Bastard. Now, this right here definitely, I mean, he again, he hit the description like right on point. It does smell like a um, like an antique shop to me. You get you get cedar wood like right off the bat cedar wood. I get a smoky scent out of this. I get a very strong smoky uh, smoky scent out of this. Now everywhere I go, I've carried this with me and I've let people smell it and people love it. They they're amazed by it. Now for me. This is a really good smell, but unfortunately it's not for me in beard. I don't like my beard to smell like a smoke or anything smoky. So I tend, I still use it. I still like it, but if I, it's not my favorite scent from the Luxurious Bastard. I know you guys think I'm crazy because this is probably the most popular scent that he has, but I don't really like smoky scents in my beard. Now, I do like to smell this, I do like to sniff it, but it's just not for me in beard. Next, we're gonna talk about his balm. The balm and the oils, they're just identical as far as like scent wise. I mean, he didn't, um, he did a really good job on making sure that the scent strength are about the same with the oils and the balm. And you can tell I've used the heck out of this. Now, this is a really strong uh, balm. To me, it works a little bit more like a beard wax, but it really, really does well in my beard. Like it does take a long time for it to emulsify in hand. It does not a long time, but it takes a little bit more work than a typical balm, but it does what it's supposed to do. It keeps your beard in place. It My beard does not move for hours and hours and hours. If I put it on and it's seven o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock at night, it's still the same way it was when I first applied it. Now, another topic that I want to touch is what I hear a lot in the bearded community. They're like, oh, well, I can't buy Dave's products because they're always sold out. You know, he doesn't make enough products. Or this is a scheme just to build up the hype, so therefore, uh, you know, more people want it or want it. Now, in a business point of view, because I am, I do have a business major, I can see where the fact that, uh, you know, building the hype of it makes people want it more, but I don't think that's the fact with this at all. Dave is, the luxurious bastard is a small batch company. He makes small batches. So therefore, he's not going to be mass producing, uh, you know, products just like a manufacturer does. Now, what's, what's going to happen in the future for the luxurious bastard? I'm not sure, but all I know is that, if you want the products, 
then do what he tells you to do. Subscribe to his mailing list. Follow him on Instagram. I know that the people on his mailing list gets notified when products get uh, re back, uh, put back in stock before his Instagram page. You know, if you want it that bad, then do it. You know, just join the mailing list. You know, people are like, well, I'm not buying it because it's sold out. I'm not going to buy his products because it's sold out. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You know, it's sold out. Tough titty, said the kitty, but the milk's still good. If you want it, which is good, the products are amazing. It's definitely worth the wait. I had to wait, you know. People all around the world are waiting for his products. And there's a reason why. Because his products are that damn good. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, be ugly or anything like that. But what I'm saying is, you know, you do have to plan ahead if you want to get the Luxurious Bastard products. Because they are very popular. People are waiting by the computer people are just you know anticipating or excited and you know they want to get the products you need to be like that too in the future there may be a little bit more you know i guess you can say leeway as far as getting the products but right now when the product is still you know popular and i can expect it to be popular years down the road as well because again this stuff is really good just join the mailing list and keep an eye out on your email when he says my products are live on the website well, go to his website and order the products. It's that simple. I'm just tired of hearing about it in the bearded community, and, and I felt like I needed to address that. But that's all I have about the Luxurious Bastard. I highly recommend his products. You know, everything from his scent-wise is probably the most sophisticated scents in the game, period, hands down, shark approved. And... I definitely recommend you guys going on his website and reading the description on his uh, sense because I'm telling you, it'll blow your mind away. But until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful week and stay bearded, duh!